that guy. That guy. That guy. I love that guy. Kevin Frankish on 105.9 The Region. Uh, this hour, I am glad to have on the phone with me uh, Professor Ahmed uh, Firaz uh, Khalid. He is an instructor in the School of Health Policy and Management at York University's Faculty of Health, and he deals with issues like fatigue, pandemic fatigue, and what impact it has on people's minds. So thanks for hanging on, Professor. But is there a word you could use as sort of a snapshot of how you think people feel today? If there's one way to, one word to describe that, it would be exhausted. Yeah. And frustrated, I guess, is another word for this. They're exhausted because they're so tired of changing plans and not I knowing like what the future that. would look like. Um, and that's relatable, right? Like you and I can relate to that. Yeah. You don't know whether, you know, you make plans for the Christmas holidays and now you're, you know, some of us have even made travel plans and we're hearing today that Canadians are being advised against international travel. So what happens to the thousands and thousands of people who paid for tickets and travel and, and had exciting plans for the holidays? That letdown is, is really, you know, can have a dramatic effect on our mental health. And we know that, uh, you know, in terms of, of policy, we don't have enough mental health support out there for Canadian added to it that, you know, many of us are now undergoing this and feeling like we don't have the support that we need to figure out what a way forward. Okay. So we know the problem. We know the disease mm-hmm. and it's, it's, it's pandemic fatigue. What is the prescription? What is the solution right now? We're all listening. We're all, like you say, frustrated and exhausted. Help us out here. Well, I, I love this question because you need this, this is very individually based. So what I mean by that is that if you have access to mental health support, please seek it. There are many available resources available online that you can tap into within your own community. One great example is community health care centers that are a, a regionally based. So what I mean by that, that they're in your neighborhood. They understand your contact. That's one. Two, if you have loved ones, we're actually more alike than we are different. And what I mean by that is that we're now using medical words to describe something that we've all been feeling for a very long time. So pick up the phone, call a friend, that, and, and tell them how you're feeling, because I bet you they're probably feeling the same way you are. That's not going to really solve the problem. However, being able to talk about it is going to give you some kind of relief and understanding that you're not alone on this, because a lot of us, I think, are feeling that I'm only feeling like this. Everybody else seems to be okay, when in reality, the majority of us are not okay. And of course, first and foremost, if you are experiencing severe mental health outcomes, you must seek clinical advice from your primary care provider or seek emergency services. And lastly, I will say, an advice that works for me is to figure out something that brings you joy in life. And that, that is individual based. So whether that is like doing a small project at home, um, connecting with an old friend you haven't done so before, trying out new recipes, it is often the small things that actually will make a big impact at the end. And it's about repeating the small things that bring you joy that will eventually have a much lasting outcome. All right, Professor Khalid, thank you so much for this. Some great advice. And uh, maybe we just all need to take a collective breath. That guy. That guy. guy. I love that guy. Kevin Frankish on 105.9 The Region.